Jesus for the job. Like, she was completely incapable of getting the job herself. Or if you look at this picture, Tim Tebow, you know, he, he thanks Jesus. There are football players who thank Jesus for scoring touchdowns. Like, they wouldn't be able to do it on their own otherwise. Or this woman who found her keys. Well, someone in this world has thanked Jesus for finding their car keys as if they would not be able to find them at all had they not believed in Jesus. Like, wherever they fell, wherever those keys were, if they didn't believe in Jesus, those keys wouldn't have been there. They would have been there regardless. Keys don't move. And it wasn't a miracle that you found them. You know, but you got this third picture with this starving African child. And I know it's our job as a society to take care of the less fortunate. But if Jesus is actually, in reality, manipulating human resource offices and football players' hands for success for certain people, don't you think he should at least, you know, make some food appear out of nowhere to feed hungry people? I mean, he he's doing these miracles for for people who don't need it and then people who do need it it seems like they don't get shit you know why I think I think it's because Jesus isn't real I think Jesus is dead if he ever lived and he's not coming back nor does he does he work miracles for you you put yourself in the position you are with your life and anything you do accomplish or don't accomplish is your fucking fault my brother had me laughing <laughs> because uh, when we were trying to buy this house, me and my girlfriend trying to buy this house, we finally got the house, but we went through a lot of shit because of the uh, the loan officer was just an asshole. He was lazy and he was disorganized and we got him every single bit of information that he ever asked for, but he kept asking for more and more information. He never just told us, this is what you guys would need. He kept asking us for more and more money. Um, for certain fees and things that we didn't know we had to pay and it was a hassle to come up with the money and he just it was just a frustrating time so I was posting on my Facebook status how frustrating I was it was to deal with this guy so I guess my parents were praying for me or whatever and my brother tells me you know dad said the only reason why you guys got the house is because they prayed for you I'm like really? so if they hadn't prayed for me and I would have quit my job what I've still got in the house? Never mind it was me that got a job. It was my girlfriend that got a job that make enough money to make the down payment. If they hadn't prayed for us, then we wouldn't have done anything. I had the credit score to get the house. So if you hadn't prayed for me, I wouldn't have been paying my bills to get a high credit score like I did anyway. I mean, I, I don't understand. How did praying for me get me in the house? I would have gotten them in the house because the requirements don't require a miracle. Have enough money, have a good credit score, you'll get in the house. These people will do anything to justify their bullshit. It just, it, it just, it, oh my God, it's just amazing to me. And so, anyway, with this clown, um, after I reply to him, he just says, Amen. I apologize if I offended you and will leave it be. Peace. That's what he says at the end of it. He doesn't answer any of my questions. I really wanted an answer to those questions, but I'm not going to bug him anymore because he gets on my fucking nerves. I know asking a Christian a question is like trying to get blood out of a rock. It just does not happen. They do not answer your questions. How do you know when you beat a theist in a debate? When they duck your questions and avoid you and give short answers, that's when you know you have them beat. So I'm just going to assume I got this clown beat.